cat daddy. Ooh, it's been a, been a rough week. Uh, been working on this boat all week, which is not nothing new. Y'all should already expect that. We got, we made a lot of progress. Uh, me and Tyler tried to go out. I think I said this on my last video. Yeah, I went, went and did the bank fishing on the pier. Got that little ball socket. Got it in there. Been playing with it. Um, been running. I, I got the idle great. It's idling great. That's just a big improvement. That's that's the main thing I've been working on. But now it's, I'm having a problem. It was when I get going, it would cut out on me, and the nose would just fall and die. So got to looking. I had a cheap fuel line. I was sucking air right through there. So I got an old fuel line that's still good. I'm gonna buy a replacement next week, two weeks, somewhere. Around. I'm gonna buy a new line. This line's still good, but I want something. I want. I've always used Atwoods. This is an Atwood, and I've always read bad things about them. But it's gonna work for now. But I might just go ahead and buy OME, uh, OEM, uh, Evan Root Johnson fuel line. Just go on and spend the money. You know, it's about 70, 80 bucks for that sucker, but. You need to have your stuff right, especially with this motor. I got a cross flow. I don't know if you know anything about it, but it don't have an air idle adjustment, so it's contingent on everything being right. So any little hiccup in there will mess the whole system up, which um, y'all can watch through all my last 20 videos and see. It's, it's been fun, but uh, I just took it out. I still had a problem where my connector connected to the motor. I was still could run about 90% but then it would suck a bubble through and it would cut off so <clears throat> I put a new I, I just happen to have new connectors I just happen to have them so I put new connectors on and I actually I've never done that I didn't realize I had a little clamp right there to hold my line in position so I got it down positioned it right went on the back side the uh, hose clamp I had on it wasn't wasn't gripping it the way it should be so I took it off and I had another hose clamp I put it on got it tight I haven't took it back out since I did that. Just sitting at the ramp now. But I'm going to pick Johnny Lynn up. We're going to take her fishing today. Johnny Lynn is uh is the one I told y'all about in the story about me hooking that car. I don't know if y'all seen that video. And I don't remember which one it is. If I remember which one it is, I'll throw it up. But we hooked the car on a minute. We was out there fishing with crappy. And I just heard her scream. I turned around and looked. My rod was in the air. I went running and caught it and fought this sucker for 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. No exaggeration, one of the longest fish fights I ever had in my life. I had no idea what I had on. Pulled up this beautiful gold car, wrapped around the pylon three times. Finally got to the bank. Dang, that was a pothole. Dang. Finally got him to the bank. And how that was a little, you know, evil claw hook and he came off right there to the bank and get a picture with him. But me and her seen him. One of the most beautiful fish I've ever seen. And this was several years ago. This was probably six, seven years ago. I didn't know Wiley had a car. That was the first day I ever realized Wiley had a car. And with Wiley, I fished Wiley my whole life as a kid. All these videos you see me fishing up here, I've been going out there since I was a kid. And we didn't never really catch big catfish out there. We always had to go to CNT. And I never had faith in Wiley. See, I don't know me from my previous life or my, you know, my history, but I've always been on a boat. Like my dad's had a boat. If we bank fish, we beach the boat and bank fish. And I've had five or six boats my adult life. And this last, once I started video and I was in this little spurt where I, I had this boat, but it wasn't on the water. And, uh, so uh, y'all really only know me as a bank fish, but I've been on a boat pretty much my whole life. So I forgot where I was going with this. Oh, didn't have confidence in Wiley. I would fish Watery, Santee, uh, the Watery, Congaree Rivers, Congaree and Watery River when they formed me the Santee River. Areas are my favorite absolute place to fish. If I ever get this motor where I'm confident, y'all be seeing me fish. The striker's about to start running there. And uh, sorry, this is a rough road. If it's making noise on the video, I'm sorry. But uh, pretty rough. <laughs> so I didn't fish Wiley a lot. And I uh, never caught a big fish out of Wiley. Biggest fish, 10 pounds probably. Well, I fish a Southeastern Catfish Club tournament. And I'm going to throw up a picture. that sucker right there that was a 47 and a half pound blue lost the big fish of the whole season by 0.2 pounds but uh that was that was my pb for a long time and ever since then i've started kid i started fishing wildly when i caught nice fish out of wildly at the boat you know 30s in the 30s and then here on this when i'm fishing this bank i've never caught a flathead out of wildly till two years ago 
caught a little eight pound flat. And then ever since then, I've caught some nice flats out of water. I've caught 47, which they put me on the news for. Several 40s, 35, 40 pound blue flats. And there's monster flats in this lake. And I've got a lot of confidence in this lake. This lake's the closest lake to me. It's real interesting because it's, you know, boy, it cradles the NC, uh, SC border. I didn't, uh, I used to never fish the North Carolina side. The last two years I bought a license and started fishing the North Carolina side. So today we was gonna go crappy fishing, but it's, we had warm warm weather for a while and all the fish were shallow. We had, I had the crappy target. I'm not a, the best crappy fisherman, but I had them targeted. They were shallow. And I've talked to enough crappy fishermen in the past week that they ain't shallow no more. Nobody really knows where they are. They're hard to find right now. There's, we had a cold front come through. We had all them storms come through the other day made it cold it's been getting down in the low 40s last night right now it's 48 the wind is bad out there i was just out there it's windy it's bad windy it's not as bad as the one of the couple videos back it's a good 12 mile an hour gust though and that, that that's hard to do and i'm we're, we were going to crappy fish but i don't think we're going to crappy fish now i think we're just going to target catfish i don't have bait i don't know how i'm gonna be i don't know if i'm gonna be able to catch bait so i'm gonna go buy some chicken and we'll we'll, we'll put around and see if i can find some bait and throw the net but uh, we're gonna go see if we can get Johnny Lynn on some catfish. Y'all stay tuned. All right, what's up folks? It's Carolina Cat Daddy. I didn't get no uh, footage with Johnny Lynn. I'm gonna throw up a picture. Put her on a personal bass, y'all. It's about 17 pounds. Well, I dropped her off. Motor still wasn't acting right. So I went and bought her new fuel line. It's running a lot better now. So uh, it was windy real bad earlier, bad windy. Well, it finally died down. It's, it's off and on raining a little bit. Not really, it's just kind of misting. I don't know, you might see it in the camera. But uh, we come down and we rode through two coves looking where I marked some fish a couple weeks ago and I ain't seeing nothing. So uh, Tyler and his dad's out here. I stopped and talked to them for a minute. They gave me some bait, all I had was chicken. So they hooked me up with some perch and some river herring. But, uh, Went through these two coves and came out and uh, was just playing around. I uh, cut the motor off and started looking at the map, see where I wanted to go. And uh, floated for a while and looked down and I was walking big fish. I was like, there ain't no way. So crunk it up and cruise through a couple times and there's some good fish in this spot. So we set up on them, got me a black light set up. The black light ain't working quite as bright as I want it to. I was kind of worried about that. So I'm probably gonna end up switching to blue lights. The blues are much brighter. But uh, one battery died on me. I left it in the camera and it's bad about it. if I leave it in the camera, it'll die. So uh, it killed it. So we're gonna cry and conserve some battery. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. We're just gonna do fishing. But y'all stay tuned. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, y'all. We had one pull and drag in the tag I'm holder, y'all. This one was pulling drag on me, Bo. It's pretty tight. A perch fillet. We're gonna throw it back out there and see what happens. All right, y'all, we got our first fish on. Ain't no big boy. We definitely ain't like that drag pull I had a minute ago. Little channel looks like. Look at this guy. What is it, buddy? You ate my bait, too? There he is. First fish of the night. Boy, that other one was a drag pulley, y'all. All right, y'all. We, we got a decent one on here. Pulling some drag. Fish. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Whoa, I dropped my, dropped my 
my net in the water. Got us a little drag. It broke my weight off, man. It broke my weight off. Okay. That's a nice toad. <laughs> that will go. That ain't too bad. We'll take that. It's about 20. Big enough to pull the drag. That's what we came for. Yeah, we got one. We changed spots. It ain't big, but uh, I actually kind of went deep. Been fishing about 15 foot. And uh, came up and marked these fish. And uh, set up on them. We're in about 30 foot of water. I really. Didn't know if I'd catch anything. A little fish. It's a fish though. We're gonna keep fishing. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna fish. Get cut of tires about one o'clock in the morning. I've been up since uh I've been up since pretty early, so we was on the wake all day. Wind and wind burn pretty wore out, but uh we're gonna keep fishing. Alright y'all, we're about to call it. About two in the morning. I've been fishing about 13 hours a day and uh, we didn't catch a lot of fish. We caught some decent fish. A lot of fish close in the 20s. I think that last one, that one may have been a little over 20. But uh, we've been on the south end. I've been kind of weary of, you know, my boat ain't all the way right. So I've been trying to stay close. Cause Tyler, he don't live too far from here. So if I needed some help, he could get me up out of here. Yeah, I've just I've been staying down here just for that reason, but uh, we got a tournament a week from now Launching at the north and that's where the fish are. That's where that's where you got the best chance to catch them. So I'm gonna try and get out tomorrow evening Do a little scouting fishing around and then hopefully this week. I'll get out a couple days Sorry, I didn't get no footage earlier of Johnny fishing. I just uh, it's hard for me to video with other people. It's it's, it's tough to do. I need to work on that, but it's one of those things. I'm not real good at filming in front of people, but I appreciate y'all. Uh, we get this boat all the way right. When I hit a thousand, I'm giving one of y'all a fishing trip. So by that time, it'll be nice and warm. It's down in the 40 again, in the 40s again. And with the wind's still whipping. I think the wind's gonna be blowing tomorrow too, but we're gonna try and get out there and look around, but I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a blessed one. We'll see y'all on the next one.